Hey, what's good everybody? Welcome, this is David here, back with a brand new video. And today we got some really sad news in the NFL world. That sad news is the NFL's eighth most winningest head coach, Marty Schottenheimer, who for the last six years has been battling Alzheimer's, has passed away at the age of 77. Marty Schottenheimer originally was a player in the NFL. He did play for like six seasons in the NFL, but then after that, he went into coaching. Marty Schottenheimer, in his career, his coaching career, coached for 21 seasons, coached three, four different football teams, and found success with all four of them. He originally was the interim coach for the Cleveland Browns in 1984. And then he was their coach all the way till 1988. Then in 1989, he went to Kansas City where he coached 10 seasons. He then took the 99, to, after being fired from Kansas City, he took the 99 and 2000 seasons off. But then in 2001, he get, went back into coaching where he coached the Washington Redskins. After he got fired from there, he would coach the Chargers in 2002 all the way till 2006. Marty Schoenheimer in his career was 205, had 205 career wins, 139 losses, and one tie. His regular season record was 200 wins, 126 losses, and one tie. Because his playoff record was 5 wins and 13 losses. Even though Marty Schoenheimer was such a a good winning coach. He was also well known for his playoff failures as well. Like ex memorable games, 86 AFC Championship game when he was with the Browns against the Denver Broncos. They lost the game known as the drive to John Elway and the Broncos. In 88, he in 87, excuse me, he lost the fumble to the Broncos. And then Kansas City The furthest he ever went with the AFC Championship game in 97, in 94, excuse me, or, or 93, one of those years with Kansas City. He then lost to the Broncos again in 97. Excuse me. In the divisional round, after a 10-year Years with Kansas City where he didn't really lead them, where he led them to so much success but lost so much playoff games, he was let go of. His one year in Washington, he was 7 and 9. And then in 2006, his five years with the San Diego Chargers, he went to the playoffs twice. And when he had maybe the best regular season of his career at 14 and 2 in 2006, when he had Phillip Rivers, his first year as a starter. LaDainian Tomlinson in the backfield. Who had the record for most touchdowns in the season with 31. He went 14-2 and two and then lost to the Patriots in the divisional round. The game best remembered for when Marlon McCree intercepted what could have easily been the game-winning interception, the game-sealing one. But then he fumbled the ball and Troy Brown recovered it. But then he sends Nate Kading out to kick the game time field goal. And then he missed the field goal. But that game also I remembered was remembered for when the Chargers got the ball in red zone territory in the first on fourth down and 11. He decided to go for it instead of kick the field goal to make it in the early 3 nothing lead. So you never know if he would have kicked that field goal and Katie would have made it. What could the Chargers could have did in 2006? Marty Schoenheimer was one of the most motivational, one of the most winningest coaches. Sad to say, his life was... he, he His coaching career, excuse me, before I get to his life, was just... Most wins just couldn't get the win the big one. Now, 
you know, 2007. Then he did go to the, like, UFL, I think, and... But since 2014, he's been dealing with Alzheimer's, a really horrible disease. And he's had that disease for the last six years. And sad to say, this morning, it finally got to him. So rest in peace, Marty Schottenheimer. <laughs>